This is not defense. It's not. Dar Darius Garland comes off a screen. He gets to go right to the rim. That's not defense. Ice the screen. Now I'm keeping Darius Garland to the sideline. There's no place for Mobley to roll to. Backside defenders everywhere. Look at this. This isn't defense. Darius Garland comes off a screen. Now that, of course, has Mike Muscala's got to come help. And now Jared Allen's wide. Look, everyone's got to leave their feet now to contest. So it's an easy offensive rebound. And the Cavs get a second crack. And again, like the Pistons pick and roll defense is to give Donovan Mitchell a wide open three. This is corruption. This is illegal. Like no one's allowed to say anything or do anything. This is everything wrong with society. Jalen Durant, get up and hedge this screen. Again, no place for Jared Allen to roll to. I'm getting Darry Donovan Mitchell. I'm pushing him out. Look at this pick and roll defense. This is not what this country's about, I don't think, or this world. That's a disgrace. Kevin Knox in transition. This is transition defense 101. I'm staying up at the top of the key. I need to be able to take Donovan Mitchell trailing the play. I'm still helping on the ball. But, I mean, you're just back trotting to nowhere right here. And now Donovan Mitchell's catching this and is again wide open. Danilo Gallinari switches this screen right here. You can't play off. Look at how far off you're playing Karis LeVert. Alec Burks is coming over to help you. Please get up and force LeVert into some help here. Like, that's how defense works in the gaps with help coverages and things like that. Look at how far Dan Danilo Gallinari is playing off of uh, uh, Karis LeVert. Why? Get up and guard. Look at this. You have help. Why'd you just do that? Transition defense communication is everything. It's everything. You have got to identify who you're guarding. You might be getting cross-matched here. The Pistons are. That's why you got to identify so people know who to guard. Monty Morris has got to say that he's taking Sam Merrill and scream it. So Kevin Knox knows, okay, I'm going to take Darius Garland. Like Monty Morris isn't saying anything. Like we got two people guarding Sam, but there's no communication. <laughs> this is just disgusting to watch. How, how does anybody watch this and feel good about themselves? How does anybody go to sleep at night watching this? Ice the screen, keep Darius Garland to the sideline. I have a bevy of backside help for Evan Mobley. This is, look at this. It's pick and roll, Darius Garland. By the way, Evan Mobley's wide open too. Everyone's wide open here. This is a disgrace. There's something wrong with this country that this is allowed to happen, that Monty Williams is allowed to do this. In transition, you cannot be trying to match up in the half court. You get cross-matched all the time. Cade Cunningham has to take Jared Allen. Jalen Duran is going to have to take Georges Niang. That's how transition defense works. You get to the nearest body. Jalen Duran's trying to match up in the half court. So now nobody's guarding Niang. Like, I should be up here. I can jam Georges Niang so that Marcus Sasser can come through on the handoff. Or I can just switch the handoff here. But you were trying to go guard Jared Allen. And now it's a wide open three. But here's another example of the Pistons being a poorly coached pile of disaster. Everyone, Monty Williams and Steven Silas having jobs is everything wrong with society ever. Anything that ever happens wrong in the world, it goes back to this fact. Jalen Duran needs to be attached to Jaron Allen as he sets this cross screen. You've got to stay attached. When Struess comes through, you'll jam him as he comes through so Bogdanovich can get on the other side, but you're attached the entire time. See, you're not attached. So now you got to guard Struess as he comes through the screen because he'd be open back door. Well, now Jared Allen's going to set a screen that Jaden Ivey wants to ice. Well, you're, if he, Jaden Ivey's icing the screen, I got to be underneath Darius Garland, keeping him to the sidelines. But you're not there. You're still guarding another screen that you bungled. Do the Pistons go over this in film in practice? Clearly not. Zero Pistons players are going for offensive rebounds. One of them, two of them should just be gone at the shot. Or stuff like this happens. Everyone stands, offensive rebound, and they're gone. It's terrible one-on-one -on -one defense by Cade Cunningham. Never once is he going to get in a defensive stance with his feet set, ready to slide his feet. So, okay, so you're just going to not guard Donovan Mitchell here. Well, Jalen Duren's an extra defender in his back. Now, Duren should be screaming that he's in help. He has no one to guard. So get up and make sure Donovan Mitchell's coming to the middle of the floor. Not only do you not do that, look at this. You're not even trying to guard. Look at your feet. You're going to get blown by. Again, this is corruption. This is illegal. Like, Congress should look into this. This is a disgrace. Donovan Mitchell's going for 46 points. You're giving him wide open threes off screens. It This is this is unconstitutional. This is not what this country is about. It's a societal problem. 
Danilo Gallinari's got to get up here. Hedge. Push Donovan Mitchell out. Bogdanovich is in backside help for Mobley. Cade Cunningham can take both calves two passes away. Look at this. Donovan Mitchell comes off a screen, and your defense is to leave him wide open. This is holding an entire universe hostage. This is a disgrace. Next possession. There's nothing. I can't make this up. This is not defense. Please ice the screen. Evan Moby, there's nothing but backside help. You're just letting George's knee in come off the screen and be wide open. So now, of course, you got to go contest at the rim, and it leads to a lob. That's what we're watching. That's what we're allowing. It's disgraceful. It's everything wrong with the world, and it's, it depresses me every day. The Pistons ice this screen. That means you're keeping Donovan Mitchell towards the sideline. Jalen Duran's got to get up. You have backside help because I'm forcing Donovan Mitchell to across the other side of the floor to the sidelines, and I can recover. Icing a screen does not mean Donovan Mitchell gets to go right to the rim for a layup. I mean, nice block here, but it's going right back to him. I mean, again, the Pistons just aren't going to guard this screen at all. Like, they're not going to ice it. They're not going to, they're literally just not going to guard it. But if you're Cade Cunningham, you got to stay with Donovan Mitchell. Like, the fact the Pistons just don't guard screens ever, you, you can't just leave Donovan Mitchell to now help on the ball. Like, open three now. The Cavs are going 1-4 flat. They are isolating Donovan Mitchell onto Bogdanovich right here. And Bogdanovich's feet are everywhere. So you got to do something. When Donovan Mitchell gets to the elbow, Alec Burks has got to step up and help just to get his dribble picked up or make him to pull his dribble back. And then Jalen Duran's going to rotate to the corner and you're just going to come out down onto Jared Allen. Like right now, Donovan Mitchell's just, you're just standing there watching, Don, like it, get up, help. And then you just X out of that, but you do nothing. And that was, it's coaching. What else is there to say? It's not impressive that Donovan Mitchell scored 46 points. You just left him open all game long. It's another pick and roll. Why are you giving up wide open threes? Why am I not up hedging this screen, pushing him out? I have backside help right there for Jared Allen's role. Well, how is this the defense? Could you, this is illegal. This is corruption. There needs to be an investigation into this. Monty Williams, Steven Silas. This is a this is a joke. This is not fair to anyone. You get Donovan Mitchell to take a tough shot. Could Alec Burks please go box out? That that's shot goes up. Find your man, box him out. You're not boxing out. You're standing and staring. Isaac Okoro, easy offensive rebound. This is why it's important. Cade Cunningham's backpedaling. Stop. Jalen Duran again is an extra defender. He should be communicating. You're up. That's where the help's got to be because now Jalen Duran can recover. You just back, everyone's backpedaling here. So now the help comes at the rim and now you can't recover. Jaden Ivey, when the screen gets set, when Donovan Mitchell comes off the screen, you can start to fight over the top of the screen. It's not a big deal if you hedge the screen anyways, but Jared Allen's not setting a screen. Donovan Mitchell hasn't gone anywhere. So you're just climbing uphill. Donovan Mitchell is going to immediately fly downhill while you're doing that. And it's a two-shot foul, and the basketball game is over.